Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, we are going to answer the question, what is a tenant? Let's start the clock. You may have heard the term tenant, organization, directory, all these things are really the same thing. A tenant is your organization, your organization is a tenant. The way I like to relate what a tenant is, is to compare it to an apartment. You may have multiple apartments inside of an apartment complex. And in this scenario, the apartment complex would either be Azure Active Directory or Office 365. You can kind of think of them as it relates to this video as the same thing. So your apartment complex is gonna take care of things like the foundation, the plumbing, all of that stuff that's needed for every apartment. So again, Azure Active Directory, Office 365. And then you will have your apartment, which is your tenant. And as with uh, many apartments being in a given apartment complex, you can have many tenants with inside of the Azure Active Directory infrastructure. So inside of Azure or Office 365, we can have multiple organizations or tenants as part of that. I think of your tenant as a container. So it's gonna contain all of your users, your groups, your subscriptions that you may be paying for. And these can be managed both from the Office 365 side or the Azure side of the house. And let's dig in real quick and see what this looks like with the guy in a cube tenant. So if I come in, I can go to the Office 365 Admin Center and if I go to show all, we can come down to setup. I can see that I've got domains. I can see that I've got users, I've got groups. And then if I go to billing, I can see my actual subscriptions. So these are all present from the Office 365 side. From the Azure side, again, I have the same thing. So I can go to Azure Active Directory and I can see my given users, I can see groups, I can see those subscriptions as well and assign licenses and things of that nature. So I can do it from either side of it. If you wanna create your own tenant, you can do that in a couple of ways. From the Azure side, you can just create a new directory inside of Azure Active Directory. If you wanna do it on the Office side, you can just sign up for an Office trial, like an E3 or an E5 trial. That will create that tenant for you. And every tenant will start off with an onmicrosoft.com domain. That was a quick look at what a tenant is. Hopefully it answered the question for you, if that's one that you had. Let me know if you have any questions about it down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.